Hi, so I want to make you see what I did here. I just made a little change to my sort of presentation program that uses SVGs instead of text and slides and PNGs or whatever. And as you know, uh, Tkinter does cannot uh, import SVG um, directly, so I convert them into a PNG and as you can see it can stretch the window and uh, the image adapt itself to the to the window so in the previous version I made this conversion of SVG files with uh, SVG this library here and with Robert Lab that um, SVG was uh, converted let me show you the old code here um, SVG converted the file here with this function and then um, report lab rendered the, um, the file the SVG file into a PNG here with this line of code then I open the, um, the temporary file saved on the drive I recite it and um, get into Tkinter with image tk .photo image, get again with the height of the image and then uh, redraw the canvas with the new width and height and create the image with the new width with new, uh, that has been resized so that it can adapt to the to the window but the, in this way I uh, and then we have here root bind this listener when I configure, when I re, um, stretch the window, uh, this will redraw the image each time, and so it will uh, the sides will follow the sides of the window like this. But every time it uh, writes an image, every time I resize the window, so I decided to change this, and I imported uh, bytes IO from IO, and then what I did was just to uh, instead of just render to a file I rendered the SVG file converted into a PNG I rendered it into a bytes IO uh, stream okay so that it it is mm, memorized into the the random access memory and not in the in the drive and so um, there no uh, files are are saved each time that I will reshape the window so I render it the this file this object here SVG um, object into this memory space here and in a PNG format so that can be accepted by um, photo in, by the Kinter, and then I open with peel this image, this uh, bytes image, bytes IO image, because I want to resize it, uh, resize it as the window so that it can adapt to the window. If it's for screen of of not, it will follow the sides of the window, and then I will get. It, uh, this file, this uh, image resides it into Tkinter with image tk .photo image. Um, I have again the, the width and height I could have done probably in another way but I get the image height and, and uh, width and then I configure the canvas as the width and height of the image and then I create the image I pass the image into the canvas um, getting it from the new image that is resized so everything will fit the screen and with root bind configure again every time I stretch the screen uh, the, the canvas and the image will be drawn again updated and um, and they will always uh, fill the, the width and height of the screen and so um, but this time it will not save this file when I change 
it will not save a new file and reload it it will just um, it, it will just um, create the SVG object here and uh, save it to in the memory and open it but always from the memory and resize it and put it into the Kinter and um, draw again the canvas and the image so it's not it's not faster maybe it's just the same but uh, it will not write anything every time on the on the on the hard drive in fact here you will, will not have any any file Okay, perhaps let me delete this temporary file here. If I go, let me finish with this. Close it. If I open it and let me see all the PNG files that are inside here to see if there is any Here we get our PNGs. It is this one. And the PNGs. Well, let me delete them. And then let me get the SVG file. There it is. So we get free SVG and and let me try here again and see if some sort of temporary file will be generated in here. So you see we have this SVG here, this is Python file and there is no, no PNG, so no temporary file is, is written. And so that's all and next time we will add a function here, a menu a voice with uh, with the, the ability to convert all these images into one PDF and also I get this function here that creates uh, converts all this file into PNG and uh, maybe I want to add another fun function that converts just the selected one into a PNG. Thank you and see you next time.